reason Tom Brady will do it with no complaints. Number one, maybe he's built that way anyway. But leader. mainly, I believe, because he was born into a, an NFL world with Bill Belichick as his coach. And when you did it Bill Belichick's way, you were rewarded with results. It's an interesting thing about faith in someone, right? You even think about how faith is taught, like the story of Job or whatever, mm -hmm. right? It's deconstructed as soon as you teach it because what you're saying in the teaching of it is you are rewarded for this. But wait a minute. Faith is belief in the absence of evidence, yeah, right? I've you got have a not lot seen. of faith. You have to, you have, you to have take, not seen. Right, you have to take a leap of faith. Yeah. And so when people are like, well, why doesn't Aaron Rodgers have more faith in LaFleur? Well, based on what? He would have to take that leap. He does not seem to have taken it to me. Mm. Now, maybe he's right. Maybe he's show me first, and then I'll believe it. But ideally, you would take the leap with the guy who's your new coach. Have you heard anything good about their relationship yet from anyone? No. Neither have I. Have you heard some bad stuff about yeah. communication between them? So have I. Um, Aaron Rodgers, whether he's ornery or not, you know, whether he should do it more like Tom Brady or not, does, has not and does not have Bill Belichick as his GM or coach. Why and never should, has. And never has. Yes. So he is, now look, maybe this is just part of his personality anyway. I'm not saying, but based on his situation since he's been in the league, why should he go into a situation that he doesn't like, assuming that the other guy, who's probably not as smart and doesn't know as much about football as he does and has not had the level of success, why should he just assume that the other guy knows best and I should just do it his way? Can I ask you a question? During these joint practices, Aaron Rodgers isn't getting sacked or hit, right? No, he's not getting touched. So it's, let it, me it, play devil's advocate for a second. Is it possible he's actually being a good teammate here? And he's you, speaking if, out if for you, his teammates that if, don't like this? Listen, if you, if you listen to what he said, he's talked about live kickoff coverage drills and how that might be looked at by the NFLPA and into the next <laughs> CBA. So he's definitely talking about his teammates. He had a tight end get smashed going across the middle who had to be checked mm -hmm. for a concussion. So he's definitely speaking about his teammates. And sometimes you can get that di dislike or, or bad taste in your mouth for something, even if it doesn't necessarily involve you. And that would be leadership. Mm -hmm. But another part of leadership is to say, you know what? I know where my coach stands on this, and I'm going to stand with See, him. See, now I agree with that. I don't, do you think, I'm, your personal opinion, is Aaron Rodgers taking the right or wrong approach here? You know what? I think your approach has to be yours. And, 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 and that's and at the end of the day, even when I get to talk to teams and I get to talk to players, I said I want you to always say and do things that when you look in the mirror at night, you can live with. They're authentic. And, and, and for Aaron Rodgers, this is who he is. For Aaron Rodgers, I don't believe he sees a disconnect in the way that he sees practice or he sees joint practices as compared to his head coach. And I don't necessarily know that he sees life in a way that I have to agree with everything he says in order for us to be Here's a great my, team. Listen, I think Aaron Rodgers is the best player I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I, Lawrence Taylor is the best player I've ever Lawrence seen. Yeah. Deion Sanders after him. But, but incredible like, talent. Yeah, but, yeah. but like at the quarterback position, mm -hmm. if you're Which on that level. Which is the most level, important position. You're, he has more sway over the outcome of any given game, and he's a clutch player, than anyone I've ever seen in football. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think this is the right approach. I think that people like Molly who have been critical of Aaron Rodgers compared to Tom Brady, like just because I think he's better than Tom Brady, not great or not as a right. but better, doesn't mean I think he's without flaws or mm -hmm. Brady doesn't do, do some things better than him. In fact, Brady does certain things because he's not nearly as yeah. talented as Rodgers. But I'm actually, defe I'm him. actually defending him here because I, I think he's defending his teammates. That, that, that Rodgers That is. are getting hurt, yeah. yeah. Here's my problem with it. I understand mm -hmm. that. Here's my problem with it. Even if your coach is wrong or you believe you know better. And I've seen this, by the way, we were talking about Kobe yesterday. I saw this when D'Antoni got to L.A. And, and Kobe's disposition toward what Dan, how D'Antoni wanted to do it. If, you, if your best player or your team leader doesn't really buy in, not just in deed but in spirit, that will be infectious one way or another. Mm -hmm. And even if it's less than ideal and they should have consulted Rodgers and he's right about it underneath and everything like that, what choice does he have? Well, so here, here's, This is here's, his situation. The, the, the biggest thing go to into me it, Go into it fully supportive of it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but what choice do you really have? You, you, you don't have a choice, and, and the biggest thing to me is he doesn't need to be consulted. Matt LaFleur is the guy that they tap to be the head coach. But the other part of that is, too, 
Aaron Rodgers is at a point in his career that he doesn't just have to go along. Like, his job is to go mm -hmm. out and practice. His job is to go out and perform. Sometimes, especially during camp, you are upset. There's a lot of times that you are angry and you're tired and you're frustrated and you're dehydrated. So all these things come into play. And I'm actually, I'm not giving him a pass. But what I'm not going to do is condemn him or say that this shows a rift between coach and player. Now, what I can say it shows is that there's not a lot of conversation going on, right? There's not a lot of communication going on between these two because sometimes when you have the conversation before you're asked the question, there's a different answer. If the reason that when we go to production meetings, you don't give me your whole thought is because now I'm not prepared for what you're going to say. I'm going to have to give you a natural reaction. But if Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur had had this conversation, you know what, coach? I really don't like joint practices. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel like this is something we should do. And Matt LaFleur then gives you his reasoning. And you might be able to say, you know what, coach? That makes a little sense. Like, I still don't like it, but I get your reasoning. Now you have a different message to give the world. That's not happening here. Even the quarterback can tell the coach, I still got to stick up for the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, I, I hear you, but coach. But why I think is it's this important getting out publicly and looking messy? The reason I brought up Brady is mm -hmm. in order for Brady to be in an Aaron Rodgers conversation, he has to do all those little things perfectly, mm -hmm. right? He has to support coach. He has to be a good, like he, or else he can't even compete with Aaron Rodgers. And what I'm saying is I'm defending, it's two levels. I'm right. defending Rodgers because why should he have faith in the situation, et cetera? And I think my answer to my own question is, because what other choice do you really have if you're trying to win? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.